Habakkuk 2 verse 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increases that which is not his. How long? And to him that lay in himself with thick clay, giving all the praise and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakarium, Shah, Yasharala. That's peace to the hopeful elect. The preordained, predestined remnant ordained to be saved in these last days. Shalom to you and your family. What I said in the beginning is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh, Yahi, how was to be or in existence by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shai, Yahi, how Shai is savior or deliverer of the nation of Israel. Matthews 121. And it's an honor. It's an honor from the heavens above to know those names in these times. That name is a tower for the righteous and we run up into it and we are saved. Uh, this is um, Glenn Beck, you know, they be going in, <clears throat> especially on his financial side. You know, Glenn always try to act like he don't know much, but, you know, he be digging in with his fork. <laughs> you know, um, I forget this guy name over here on the left, but that's Glenn Beck on the right. Um, but 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 this guy might be an analyst, you know, because he backs Glenn up a lot, on a lot of stuff. Now, he's breaking down what's going on with this uh, this was the first national bank. That just went over that was i will be say a big bank but they calling it a, a medium-sized bank you know um to my knowledge uh that first national uh bank had about what they said about 200 million 200 billion it was slightly bigger than uh silly si the silicone valley bank that went under uh last month so it was slightly bigger but uh nevertheless jp Morgan, <laughs> you know, they came in, bought them up. You know, that's the pitch. It's for all these uh, small banks and medium-sized banks to be sucked in by the big banks. Then the big banks fail. The big banks are going to fail. Yes, they're going to fail because it's all debt. It's nothing but debt. That's why I read the scripture. We're going to read it again in Habakkuk 2, verse 6. So the, the big banks are not going to be able to pay off their debt. JP has debt already. They lend out thirty million to try to save um, um, this bank they just bought. That falls under, and then they come in and buy them out. So what you can see is that um, all all roads lead to uh, Revelations thirteen sixteen seventeen. The uh, MOTB man, all roads and it's moving fast. And we got this Fed now that's going to be put in play fully by July 1st. You know, it's going to probably take about, I would say, by the end of September. You know, you, you may see, uh, you know, dollars here, dollars there. But it's going to be a lot of, you know, cashless signs up, you know, and reverse ATMs where you can turn your cash in and get a prepaid card. So this thing is moving quick. By the end of the year, we can see maybe a full um, uh, um, uh, implementing of this MOTB or the start of it because whatever's going on here a false flag is going to either follow this or head it off so they promoting this thing and they're going to promote you don't push it fast with that fear this thing is being fast tracked just like world war three so i'm gonna read the scripture again her book of two verse six shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say Woe to him that increases that which is not his. And we know everything that this man got doesn't belong to him. Job 9, 24, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. Now let's get this word latent and let's get this word clay here. The uh, Hebrew for latent is... Kavad. Kavad. To to be heavy. Second entry. Oh, so like it. Kavad. Kavad. So as to be heavy, right? Uh, to get oneself glory or honor, and this is how this man gets his glory and honor. Uh, James five, going to your riches are corrupt. 
Job 20. You're going to vomit these riches back up. He's got himself riches by his traffic. Was that Isaiah 47? By thy wisdom and thy traffic, you've gotten much uh, riches. This is what this man is laden with to make heavy, to make dull, to make insensible, to make honorable. So he made himself honorable with thick clay. Let's get this word clay here. This is the Hebrew. Strong's H, 5671, Avtit, Avtit. Clay, which is weight of pledges, heavy debts, heavy debts. So he, he covered himself or made himself, you know, he laid himself with heavy debts. Now, as uh, the word debt, in case you don't know, uh, debt is something old, an uh, obligation, unable to pay off, <laughs> you know, uh, owe them a debt, okay? And you know, this man is not going to be able to pay off, you know, this debt. And they still haven't uh, figured out, how, are they going to move that debt ceiling? Let's check this out. That's oh, now we have no idea past. how much money they have given to these banks already. Okay, so hmm. let me ask you, what caused the instability? What what caused Silicon Valley Bank to go? Silicon Valley Bank was this, basically they had long-term um, assets. Mm -hmm. So they take, you know, you deposit $100, they take your $100, they deposit it into a fund that pays 2%. Mm -hmm. And then all the interest rates go up because the Fed decides to jack them all up. And suddenly, though the investments they made thinking... You know, it's long-term debt. It's very, you know, we haven't had inflation in such a long time. When the inflation goes up, it lowers the value of those that $100 they invested. Correct, yeah. So to now, mark to market. Now they can't take the $100 out because it's locked into this investment. Right. And they ha can only get it out at a lower rate, and they don't have enough to cover the deposits that are there. So basically Correct. what they're going into is how banks, this is how banks survive. Banks survive off you, us. You know, we're the creditors, they're the debtors, Okay. Now, once you give them a certain amount of money, they take it and they say thank you for your trust and they go invest it and they live off the money that the public deposit into them. But what happens when that deposit defaults? That's what they saying. What happens is they get stuck. They can't move that money. And then you come back and say, hey, I want to take my money out. And then they're in a jam. And that's what's happening with these banks. So basically, it's just a one big monopoly game. One big monopoly game. So these banks, you when you need the banks when you're moving around paper. That's why this whole deposit system, direct deposit, everything got to run through a bank. You need a checking book. You need to write a check for everything. So the banks and, and the Federal Reserve, they all working together, man. You know, it's one big system, okay, put together by the elites. Now, if they're doing away with the paper dollar, guess what? You don't need the banks no more. You just need a central bank. Right. A bank that can distribute the uh, the CBDC, you know, a digital currency, a cryptocurrency. And that's going to come out of the central bank headed off by the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, you know, the top elites, you know, and they're going to implant a device into your hand, which is going to be total control. One of the biggest and last prophecies before the second coming of our Lord. Just terrible risk management mm -hmm. combined with the Fed doing something they hadn't done in 20 years. OK. So that's what kicked off Silicon Valley Bank and and all of these banks. They're 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 all out of whack. Yeah, okay? I mean, partially. I think it's partially in play here with First National, and then I, Signature had a little bit more crypto exposure, sure. but that was which was a little bit of that. But, but you still. also have the problem that there is a tight money supply, right? Because of the the jacking up of the rates. So all things, everything's stopping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, today, today, the Federal Reserve is slated to raise interest rates for the tenth time in over twelve months. So they breaking it. Do you hear that? Ten times, damn near. Uh, uh, once every month, they move that interest rate up. They breaking the whole system. The tenth time. After their two-day meeting yesterday, central bank expected to announce a quarter-point hike, which would bring the Fed's, Fed's ben benchmark interest rate to a level between 5 and 5.25%. So that's great. But they are saying, but we think this will get it under control. If not, we're going to have to do it again. 
you're at a breaking point. I, 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 I know nothing about this stuff. I know nothing about this stuff, but I know enough to know you cannot continue to raise interest rates or you will break the back of the economy. Unless you're trying to break the back of the economy, because that's what's happening. They're doing away with this uh, third industrial uh, industry and bringing in the fourth, which is ran under the NWO. And for you to participate in this, uh, this, this, uh, these 15 minute cities, this uh, internet of all things, you know, you're gonna be connected to the web. Everything is gonna be controlled. Everything is gonna be governed by your elites. You gotta get rid of this system. They know what they're doing. And it's obvious, but they don't care anymore. Because they at the end of their rope. Micah 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. Now, who's this that can go to bed, come up with a diabolical plan, get up in the morning and actually ha have it happen? That's the elites, man. They control everything, your whole system. Let's go into this word power. This is the Hebrew. Strong's H410. Ale. Ale. Which is actually Allah. Okay? Which is God. God-like one. Mighty power. So these men got... God-like power given by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah on the left-hand side for a certain time to fulfill prophecy. So they got that power, and the top elites know that. They know that. The doors open and close when they say so. That's a lot of power. They created your, 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 your judicial system. They put together your schools. They show you how to count. These people got have total control, and they work it upon their beds because they have a God-like power for now Micah 2 verse 1 NLT What sorrow awaits you Who lie awake at night Thinking up evil plans You rise up at dawn And hurry to carry them out Simply because you have the power To do so That's these people But they're doing it anyway Now what's the other thing That they say could break the back Of the economy the other thing is the debt ceiling. If we don't pay our bills, we're going to be downgraded. Yeah, 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 we will. So what is the plan? The uh, House says we'll negotiate. White House won't negotiate. We'll negotiate. But if you want the debt ceiling raised, you've got to cut spending. Now, we'll show you where we think you can do it, but... You got to cut it. So where are you cutting spending? The White House says we're not. Now, think of this. Your inflation <laughs> is caused by too many dollars. There's just too much. We've printed too much money. That's why they're raising the interest rate. That brings that money, sucks it back into the Treasury where they can burn it. Did okay? you know what he just said? This is a game. Inflation starts when you overprint the money, right? They raise the interest rate so that they can suck the money back in where they can burn it. Then they go and print more money. All they're doing is shuffling around your resources. We're not supposed to be working for anything. You know, the wood, the food, the water. All this was uh, God-given rights to breathe air. These are all God-given rights. Especially the nation of Israel. We're sovereigns. Yasha Allah. Yah, He, Shah, Prince, Allah, God. We're the sons of God. We're sovereigns. We're not supposed to pay for anything. So all the, the elites did was capture the, the resources, hold it with the guns and the military, and then they make you work for fiat currency. <laughs> fiat currency to get your God-given resources back to you. And the Lord is bringing down the house of cards right now, man. Get rid of it. Our government is borrowing more money, which they then have to print Far more than you and I are spending at TJ Maxx, okay? Far more than all of Americans. We went out and we just were on a credit card binge. We wouldn't make a dent mm. into what the federal government is spending. And yet we're going to be the ones paying the price. 
See? Bring on electric. Stop that right there, man. You know, the Lord is bringing down the house. Matter of fact, Williams is ready to lead the charge like into the clean place. energy future. We rehearse your brain surgery from every possible Thanks, angle so before you enter the operating room. So, why is nobody up in arms saying you've got to cut the deficit? You have to stop spending money. But the the uh, Democrats in the House and the Senate and the White House say Congress has to raise the debt limit without any spending cuts or any other conditions. <laughs> Screw you. Where is my representation? It ain't there. Sincerely. See, see, this is what a lot of these Edomites like Glenn and them. You know, they talking. He's a prepper, too. They're talking because they know that the system is in serious trouble. And they look at certain history books like Rome, the fall of Greece. You know, they're interested in how they fell and came back. So they see it. They see this 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 place called America is following down the same path as ancient Rome, because this is the second Rome. Where is my reputation, uh, my uh, representation? Yes, we can it's vote for clowns. <laughs> But they have given away their responsibility. They have given away, uh, given away the only thing that can be done with an out-of-control government is to cut the budgets and bring it back under control. That's the job of Congress. But they gave that away in 2008. We don't care anymore. Well, how am I being represented? How are you being represented? You ain't. The, they we at the end, and these 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 people here, man, you know, they're gonna suffer greatly because they don't understand prophecy. They have no clue what's going on. They have no clue, and their hope of um, this place recovering is going down the drain, man. I listen to these people, man. I listen to these preppers behind closed doors and these cameras going off. They are very, very afraid, and they're ready. They stocking pound guns, you know, rope, tires, tissue, bunkers all over the place. Is every man for himself in their eyes. But see, we at the end. This is James 5 and 1, NLT. Look here, you rich people. Weep and groan with anguish because of all the terrible troubles ahead of you. <laughs> your wealth is rotting away. And your fine clothes are moth-eaten rags. Your gold and silver have become worthless. The very wealth you were counting on will eat away your flesh like fire this treasure you have accumulated will stand as evidence against you on the day of judgment and that's who we at man you edomites are in serious serious trouble man as well as you two-third jakes man you're in deep shit and excuse my language, you're in deep trouble with Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Because he coming. And these, the wealth, how you accumulated by theft, robbery, and murder, you're going to be caught with the bag in your hand, man. For listen, hear the cries of the field workers whom you have cheated of their pay. The wages you held back cry out against you. The cries of those who harvest your fields have reached the ears of the Lord of heavenly armies, man. Let me read that verse again. This is James 5 and 4, man. This is, this is powerful. It says, for listen, hear the cries of the field workers. Who's that? Who's that? That's the Israelites, man. We work, especially Issachar. Issachar do it all. That's one of the prophecies on him, man. He bowed his back for hire, man. But guess what? Jake, Judah, we used to do it all. All the tribes, as well as the other nations, they, they working. You rip us off from taxes. You charge us for everything. Look what he just said. The big bank's going to get the assets. We get caught holding the bag. You rip your own people off. Your own Edomites are crying out. This is what you do. This is what you made to do. That's why you're called the devil. That's why you're called Satan in Revelations 20, man. So it says, I'm going to read it again. Powerful verse here. James 5 verse 4, NLT. For listen, hear the cries of the field workers. And what uh, Job 20 said. 
every hand of the worker shall rise up against you, man. Whom you have cheated of their pay. And tell you the plowman, what's that, Amos 9? The plowman about to overtake the reaper, man. <laughs> we, about, we about to do the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. When our Lord get here. When our Lord get here, man. Even before then, you the Lord gonna put the spirit on his 144,000. But when our Lord Yahweh Shah get here, Yahweh Shah it ain't gonna take, it ain't gonna take one sweat off his eyebrow, one hour to take you and your whole power structure down. The one third of man. And good riddance. For listen, hear the cries of the field workers whom have whom you have cheated of their pay. The wages you held back cry out against you the cries of those who have harvested your fields have reached the ears of the lord of the heavenly armies all praises to yahweh and now our lord is about to come and defend us man now our lord is about to come one last script here and he's about to come and he's about to defend his elect of the nation of israel because he heard our cries just like in ancient egypt he heard our cries then and he hearing our cries now and the Lord is on his way. He's going to fix this. Our Lord is going to fix this. This is, um, uh, let me see here. This is, yeah, this is Jeremiah 31, verse 11, KJV. For Yahweh hath redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. NLT for Yahweh has redeemed Israel from those too strong or too strong for them. Now you stronger than us right now. But guess what? Woof, our Lord is here to take the strong man down and redeem us, man. I can tell you no man shall redeem thee of Deuteronomy 28 and 68 because that's for our deliverer. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Deliverer, Savior of the nation of Israel, Matthew 121. I want to give all the praise and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakadash, down with Babylon. It's moving, Akim Akwath. Our Lord is on his way. Shalom. Pay attention to the details. It's a beautiful story being closed right before your eyes.